Hey guys, how's it going? So, I uh, started the tank up. I know I don't have my filter yet, so I'm using a hang on the back penguin filter with, uh, I guess, uh, I guess you can call them dish sponges as uh, media. And I've got my power head in there. And you can't, okay, maybe you can see it up in the top left there. There's a thermometer. So that's just temporary. Um, because uh, temperature, of course, affects the nitrogen cycle and how quickly it goes. So this time, I'm using RO water. And yes, you're right, I don't have my RODI unit set up or have it yet. So I'm waiting on my RODI unit and my Fluval 405 in the mail. Um, one's coming from New Brunswick, which is in Canada, and uh, the other one is coming from, um, sorry, the RODI unit's coming from New Brunswick, and the filter is coming from North Carolina. So, uh, back on topic, the water I put in is RO water. I went to a water store <laughs> uh, down the road and I uh, got some RODI water which is awesome and my the store said it's TDS was one but when I checked when I got home the TDS was two which is nothing you'd want it to be zero but it's two and I'm really only using this water to cycle the tank and get it going I don't see any problems with two <laughs> when before with my five gallon nano I was using TDS water that had a 105 so water changes were a very delicate process for those who don't know what TDS stands for it's total dissolve solutes so uh, like calcium um, oxygen uh, you know phosphates nitrates uh, and then your all your metals all that stuff in the water that's those are TDS's so yeah. Uh, so if I was to measure the water right now in my tank, it would be 31 TDS because it's been consistently doing that. And uh, I guess yesterday the TDS was 21. So um, basically, if you're wondering what's happening, um, my deep sand bed, which I made nice and deep, um, is leaching calcium and all the good stuff into the water. So the TDS are not negative ones, they're actually good ones for saltwater aquariums. So, that, that's a happy note. Oh, also, I built the stand. So, I should turn the lights on, but... You'll see it later on. And yes, I spilled some sand. But that's okay. I've got my power bar set up, temporarily. Um, and yeah, my water jug from the store, so I just got a bunch of those and filled the tank up with it. I've got my light set up. Here's the actinic. And then if I shut off the 10,000K, that's the actinic, which looks blue on this, but is actually purple, and I'm sure you guys know that because you have your own. And... So yeah, I filled the filter with a sponge as media. I've seen it done before in homemade canister filters and stuff like that for ponds. And uh, yeah, it actually got nice and quiet. So that helps a lot. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way it looks. A little side view here of the sand bed. I haven't messed around with it, so it's not equal depth everywhere, but I got the nice wave effect going on because of the water flow. And if you're wondering what power head I'm using, I'm using the Marine Land 400. Um, they say it does enough for, let me read this, 
So it does 110 gallons per hour when it's in powerhead mode, which is what you see in the box right there. That's powerhead mode. But uh, what I'm using is this mode. And I think that one is the circulation pump mode. So that's 500 gallons per hour, which is nice. And uh, that's definitely enough for this tank, so I'm thinking of getting another and maybe asking Santa Claus for Christmas next year for a power head controller, but who knows, maybe even my birthday. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching as always, and uh, I'll keep you posted.